Hello friends. Today we will see what is the meaning of the term relation when it comes to set theory or discrete mathematics. So let's see. So relation is nothing but a structure used to represent the relationship between elements of sets and the relationship between elements of sets occur in many contexts. For example, consider set A as a set of all students and set B as a set of all courses. So there can be a relationship between the elements of set A and set B, right? So the relationship is enrolled. So students of some college or school can be enrolled in some courses, right? So enroll is here a relationship connecting these two sets. Now suppose A is the set A, B, C, D, E where A, B, C, D are students and B is the set of all courses where X, Y, Z are the courses. So suppose the student A has enrolled in course X, meaning that A is related to X here, right? Using the enroll relationship. The most direct way to express a relationship between elements of two sets is to use ordered pairs made up of two related elements. So here A comma X is a ordered pair, meaning that A is related to X. Now, when there are two sets involved in the relationship, we call such a relation as binary relation. Binary relation represents the relationships between elements of two sets. So let's formally define what a relation is. Let A and B be sets. A binary relation from A to B is a subset of A cross B. The relation R from set A to set B is nothing but a subset of A cross B. Let A be set of students in your school and set B be the set of all courses. Now a relation R can be defined this way. R equal to set of all A comma B such that A is a student enrolled in course B. This is an example of a relation. Let's take one more example. Let's set A equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 and set B equal to A comma B. Now R is defined this way. Set 0 comma A comma 0 comma B 1 comma A. So there are three elements in this relation 0 comma a 0 comma b and 1 comma a now 0 comma a means that 0 is related to a so we write this way 0 capital r a meaning that 0 is related to a 0 comma b is there in the relation r meaning that 0 is related to b and 1 comma a is there in the relation r means 1 is related to a that's what it means a relation can also be represented graphically this way Taking the previous example where set A equal to 0, 1, 2 and set B equal to A, comma B. Relation was from set A to set B. Right? The relation contained the ordered pairs 0, A, 0, B, 1, A. Now 0 here is mapped to A, 0 is mapped to B also, 1 is mapped to A. This is how we represent a relation graphically. Now we ask, is function a relation? So is function f from set a to set b also a relation from a to b? The answer is yes. A function represents a relation where exactly one element of b is related to each element of a. If we take our previous example, let's see here. Here 0 is related to a and 0 is related to b, right? But this is not a function but it is a relation. It is not a function because if it was a function, 0 would have been mapped to exactly one element in the set B, not to more than one element. So here 0 is mapped to more than one element and hence it's not a function. We can also say that relations are a generalization of functions. They can be used to express a much wider class of relationships between sets. Now, we also have to note that there can also be a relation from a set to itself. So from a set A to itself, we can define a relation. A relation on set A is nothing but a subset of A cross A. Let's take a question here. Let A equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4. Which ordered pairs are in the relation R, where R is set of all A comma B such that A divides B. So the relation is defined this way. Relation is a set of all ordered pairs A comma B, where A divides B. Now here the relation is defined on the set A itself. So relation is subset of A cross A. Okay. Now here A comma B both belongs to the set A. 
So you need to look at all those elements in the A cross A to find which of them belongs to this relation. So now here we get that 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 3 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 are the elements in the relation because if you take any of these element it is the case that A divides B. Now a relation can also be an infinite set it need not be a finite set always consider the relation defined on the set of integers R equal to set of all A comma B such that A is less than or equal to B. This is an example of an infinite relation. Here the relation is nothing but a subset of set cross set. Okay, relation is defined on the set of integers. So there is only one set and the relation is subset of set cross set. So there can be infinite relations as well. In the next lecture we will see the properties of relation, the types of relations and more.